Hi kids, we are going to now look at division in a way that is familiar to most of your parents, if not all of them. I'm pretty sure all of them are familiar with this way. This is probably the moment they've been waiting for. Using division in the standard algorithm way. Now remember, standard algorithm is just another way that we are able to solve for division problems. And it is not the only way that we can solve division problems, it's just another way. And also remember that the other ways that we've been learning how to divide also helps explain the division and why the standard algorithm works. Standard algorithm is a way that we are getting to an answer, but it also there is also an explanation that goes with why it works. So let's go ahead and get started and just get the basics down for standard algorithm. And I like to use this acronym, does McDonald's serve cheeseburgers? So what we are doing is looking at dividing, multiplying, subtracting, checking, and bringing down numbers. And so we are going to follow those steps when we are dividing. So we're going to, this is the acronym, divide, multiply, subtract, check, and then bring down, DMSCB. So we're starting with 63 divided by 4, and today we're just going to strictly look at algorithms, computing the numbers. We're not going to involve any word problems today. We'll add those in tomorrow. Right now, we're just going to get a feel of the standard algorithm. 63 divided by 4. I need to look at my divisor, 4, and I need to look at my dividend, 63. The dividend, 63, and the divisor 4, again, is what we're looking at. So we're going to take the 4 and the 6, the number that's in the tens place of the dividend, and use these two numbers. And we're thinking, as we're, this is our division, 6 divided by 4, or what number times 4 gets me close to 6, but I can't go over 6. So that's going to be 1, and I need to place that digit in the tens place because I am using these two numbers as I'm starting out. So now I'm on to my multiplication. 4 times 1 is 4. I need to place the 4 under the 6 because I'm all in the tens place. And now my next step is to subtract. 6 minus 4 is 2. My next step is to check. This is a very important part that a lot of people skip. And you want to make sure that when you are checking that the number you subtracted, your 2, is less than the divisor. So 2 is less than 4. So I've checked. Now I can continue on with bringing down. And what I'm going to bring down is the 3. So I need to bring down the 3. And I start over, back to dividing. This time, I need to go this way. And this, another, this is another part that can be a little confusing because you would think that we need to go for with this 3 here, the other part of our dividend, but we do not. We do not need to go back up into the dividend ever again through the rest of this process. We only need to get, it, get started by starting here with the 6, that part of our dividend. We don't need to look at that anymore. Now we have a new dividend, this 23 here, is now our new dividend. So now it's 23 divided by 4. This is what we're going to be working with. What number times 4 gets us close to 23, but we can't go past 23? And that is going to be 5. And we record the 5 on top of the 3 in the 1's place. Then we multiply. So we've done our division. Now we're here to multiply. And what we're multiplying is 5 times 4. We don't need to look at this 1 anymore because we've already multiplied that. 5 times 4 is 20, and the 20 gets recorded underneath the 23. Our next step is to subtract. So we are going to subtract 23 minus 20. We get 3. Our next step is to check. Is the 3 less than 4? Is our 3 less than our divisor? Yes, it is. Next step is to bring down. But there's nothing left over here to bring down. So I know that I can stop and say that my quotient is, is 15 and my remainder is 3. Okay? And that is the process for doing um, standard algorithm with division. And we're going to try a few more of these because it definitely takes practice in order for you to become proficient using the standard algorithm. 
Let's look at 54 divided by 3. We are going to do the same thing as we're looking at the dividend and the divisor. We need to look at the 3 and the 5. So those are the two numbers that we're going to start with. So how many times can 3 go into 5? Or what number times 3 gets us close to 5, but, but we can't go over 5? This is our division step. And that's going to be 1. And we need to place the 1 over the 5 in the tens place. And then we multiply. 3 times 1 is 3. Next step is subtract. We subtract 5 minus 3. We're staying in the tens place in this column. 5 minus 3 is 2. Next step is to check. Is 2 less than 3? Yes, it is. So we can move on to bring down. And we are going to bring down this 4. Now we start all over again back to dividing. But remember, this time we need to go this way. The 24 divided by 3. We're not going to come up here back into the dividend and say three, 4 divided by 3 like that. We need to stay here. 24 divided by 3. And that's going to be 8. We put the 8 in the 1's place over the 4. Okay, that's our division. Now let's multiply. 8 times 3 is 24. We record the 24 under the other 24. Next step is to subtract. 24 minus 24 is 0. Next step is to check. Is 0 less than 3? Yes, it is. So we continue on to bring down. There are no other numbers to bring down. So we are finished with this problem, and our quotient is 18, and there is no remainder. Let's look at the next problem. 49 divided by 8. Again, we're going to start with the divisor 8, and we're going to look at the 4 in the 49. This time, I can clearly recognize that the 8 is larger than the 4. So I cannot divide these two numbers. I need to look at the entire number 49 this time and divide it with 8. What number times 8 gets me close to 49, but I can't go over 49 because that is my division step. So that is the D in our acronym, Does McDonald's Serve Cheeseburgers? We are dividing. So I need to decide, so I can say 8 times 5, that's 40. Let's try 8 times 6, that's 48. 8 times 7 would be too big, so I'm going to stick with 6. Okay, so that's going to be 6. Now my next step is to multiply. So I'm going to multiply 8 times 6. Notice that I recorded this 6 over the 9 this time, not over the 4, because we did not use just the digit 4. We used 49, the entire dividend. So I need to place my quotient correctly. 6 times 8 is 48. That's my multiplication step. Next step is to subtract. And then I'm going to subtract 48 minus 49. That's going to be 1. And once we get our subtraction done, remember the next thing we need to do is check. It's very important that we're checking to see if the 1 is less than 8. The number that we subtracted was 49 minus 48. And we're left with 1 as our difference. And we have to check to make sure it's less than our divisor. In this case, it is. Then we go on to our next step, which would be bring down. There are no other numbers here to bring down. So I would be finished with this problem. And my remainder would be 1. Quotient 6, remainder 1. Let's take a look at another example. 144 divided by 6. Again, I'm going to look at the 6. And I'm going to look at the 1. Well, I can see clearly that the 6 is larger than the 1, so I am not going to be able to divide the 6 and the 1. So I need to go on to the next digit and look at the 1 and the 4 this time. 14 divided by 6, that I can do. So I know that 2 would get me close to 14 without going over. I'm going to place the digit 2 over this 4 in the tens place because that is where I'm starting with the number 14, not with 1. So I should not be putting my quotient, should not start. I shouldn't put it right here over the hundreds place. I need to make sure I put it over the tens place, which is this 2. So I've done my division. The 14 divided by 6, as close as I can get is 2. So I've done division. Now I need to multiply. 6 times 2 is 12. So I've done my multiplication. 
Now I need to subtract 14 minus 12. Let's go ahead and subtract 14 minus 12. That's going to give us 2. I need to check, is this 2 less than 6? My divisor, it is less than that. Now I can go to my next step, which is bring down. And I'm going to bring down the 4. So I've done my bringing, bringing down. Now I need to look at this. And I need to either decide I'm going to stop here or do I need to keep going. In this case, if I'm going to have 24, I can keep going because I can take out more groups of 6 out of 24. How many, so it's the same thing, we're dividing 24 divided by 6 or how many groups of 6 can I get out of 24 without going over. And in this case, I can get an exact number. So I know that 6 times 4 is 24, so I'm going to record that. So I'm back up here to my division again. Now I multiply. 4 times 6 is 24. Did multiplication. Then I subtract. 24 minus 24 is 0. That's my subtraction. I check. Is 0 less than 6? It is. And bring down. There is nothing left to bring down, so I can stop. And my quotient will be 24, no remainder. Now I have four problems for you to practice and try on your own. This is the way that you're going to get better at using the standard algorithm is practicing. So if you need to watch the beginning of the video again to remember all of the steps, then please go back and do that. I would like for you to try these four problems in your journal. You can always get someone to check over your work for you. And you remember to make sure that you go on to Edmodo and tell me that you watched the video, complete your whisk, and I will see you in class tomorrow.